Hey, what's up, guys? It's Taylor here from Shadow Vape, and today we're going to be doing Fused Clappings. So, yeah. <laughs> That's what we're doing like, today. Fused Clappings. And we're going to get into the macro time now. Some, Let's go. Fused Clappings. Fused Clappings. I am the Leviathan. This starts with a violent end. It's Clash of the Titans, then it's Hey guys, welcome back. It's Taylor here from Shadow Vape. Today we're going to do a Fuse Clapped and Build tutorial. So without further ado, let's get into macro time. Alright guys, so for tools, we need ceramic tip tweezers, but they're not essential. You also need pliers, flush cutters, and a secondary pair of pliers just in case you twist your wire while doing it. You're going to need a 2.4 millimeter screwdriver and also another screwdriver to screw down your postal screws. You're also going to need two pre-cut strands of 24 gauge, each of them being around 8 to 10 inches. You're going to want to bend those wires so that they can fit into the chuck of the drill. And you're also going to need a drill. So while putting them in the drill, you want to make sure you put them in so the parts that you bent face out and you want it to be centered inside the drill as so. You're going to take your 40 gauge wire and a little trick I like to do is you take the 40 gauge and you wrap it around one of your outer leads and that way it sits on there nice and flush. I'm going to go ahead and turn up the drill a little bit because I like to run it at a faster speed. Um, I recommend you start off slow until you get the hang of it and make sure you put your thumb down and you pinch the wire so it sits on there nice and tight. Now we're just going to get started real fast with it just to get enough on there so the wire sit flush. <laughs> start spooling and while you're doing it you're just going to make sure you keep that wire real tight and up against the, the other two core wires. Just keep spinning it. Uh, you can stay slow and speed up if you have to. After you've cut your wire, you're going to want to straighten your wires out. So what you do is you take them and you find the creases on them. And what you'll do when you find the creases is you'll just grab it with one pair and twist it so it straightens itself out. And that's what it'll look like when it's fully straight. Now when you start wrapping your wire, we're going to do six wraps. So you want to wrap it the best way you know how to wrap wire. Now once you get it completely on, with one more wrap, it'll look like that. Now I'm going to take the flush cutters and I'm going to cut the lead slightly so it fits in real nice. As you can see, the other one I previously made. Now, when putting them in your post holes, you want to make sure that the lead that is facing downward goes into your center hole and the upward lead goes into your outside holes. Now, you're going to take it, you're going to screw it down, and make sure it's nice and tight, but don't over tighten it as to break the wire. like so. Then you're going to flip your screwdriver around and you're going to push it towards the center. Don't push too hard because you don't want to break the wire. Just like that. And I'm going to 
clip this lead real fast. That way it doesn't short the other coil. Now I'm going to be using the Relo RX200. Just going to screw the Addy on real fast. And I'm going to go ahead and pause it for you guys. Now the box I'm using, I had it on a little bit too low. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to turn up the wattage on it really fast. Good watch to pulse stats around 100 to 125 for these coils specifically. And fire it. I'm going to pinch together with the ceramic tip tweezers. Good thing about these ceramic tip tweezers is you can fire it and pinch it at the same time, unlike if you were using metal pliers in general. Here's me pulsing it really quickly just to show you how it fires and how they heat up evenly. And I'm going to pinch it with the pliers now to make sure every lead is together and it's nice and centered. Now make sure you do not fire it while you are pinching with the pliers as it will cause a short. That heats up nice and evenly. One last little pinch. Good to go. Now I'm using cotton bacon bacon bits to wick it with. Uh, when you pull it out, you're going to want to pull out one strip and you're going to break that strip in half. Once you have that strip broken in half, you're going to break your other strip in half to be able to fit it into the coil. Just twist the end of it until it's nice and thin so you can pull it through that coil. And you want it really, really tight when you're trying to pull it through so it wicks really nicely. You're going to get to the point where it looks kind of like a bow tie. And then I'm going to take my flush cutters and I'm just going to trim a little bit of that cotton off. You don't want too much cotton because it will uh, reflect badly on the flavor because you'll have too much of a cotton taste at first. Doing the same thing for the other side. As you can see, you want it really tight. Just make sure you hold your coils in place if it's too tight and then pull it through so it doesn't move the coils at all. Go ahead and trim that one up real fast too. And it should look like that. And you're gonna take any type of screwdriver or a piece of wire that you have and you're going to tuck your cotton nice and tight under there but you want to leave a space in the center you got it nice and tight in there and make sure that space in the center is still there and i'm going to show you a little bit closer up now you want to do the same thing that you did to the other side. Make sure that cotton's nice and tight. Make sure that cotton's tucked in there really nicely. And make sure you have a gap under your coil that your cotton isn't sitting in. It's just the way I like to do it. Some people prefer to have their cotton sitting under the coil, but I feel like it has better taste and it wicks a lot better if you leave that gap like that. Cleaning them up a little bit, getting exactly how I want them. Now I'm dripping dewberry cream by Kilo E Liquids. And you want to wick it up really, 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 really a lot of juice. The coils themselves can hold so much juice and the cotton I'm using can hold a lot of juice as well. So you wanna get the, both of the coils completely drenched in liquid. Uh, make sure not to over drip too much. Um, if you over drip, you can always just take a piece of paper towel and pour some of it out of your juice well. 
I'm just gonna keep licking them up. As I said, they take so much juice to wake up. Now, after you have your cock completely drenched, it should look like so. The fire real fast, pulse it. Get some of that excess juice out of it. Guys, we back. Uh, we're gonna try this out. First is 100 watts. And I'm gonna take a couple rips now. So it has nice thick vapor production. It's really dense. And at 100 watts, it's still pretty warm. And now at 150. It's a lot more dense, a lot warmer. You get a little bit more flavor out of it. So if you want a, a warmer, denser vapor reduction and you want crisper notes, you want to run it around 150. The flavor is a lot more intense. It's a lot smoother. So if you guys want to use this on a mech mod, I recommend wrapping it around a 2.4 millimeter bit, just like we did with this. But I recommend doing between four and five wraps instead of six wraps. Um, you'll get faster ramp up time and really good vapor reduction. Uh, the concept of this coil was created by Squid Dude. Um, it's been quite a long time, but we're going to put his Instagram link in the description. Uh, so you can check out his Instagram. He's a really great builder, and I've learned a lot of tips and tricks from him. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you liked our video, go ahead and give us a thumbs up and subscribe. If you want us to do anything else, or you have any suggestions for us, go ahead and leave it in the comment section down below. And remember guys, caught not. Make, 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 make the ground shake.